two, one, engines full power, and lift off. Go Falcon, go IMAP, go Swifo L1, and go Corruptors. And we are flying three new missions on a million mile journey to track space weather. Good looking flight so far. Our tracking cameras getting a great shot as this mission climbs into the sky. We'll be looking now for those engines to throttle down as we go through max Q, the time of maximum dynamic pressure on Falcon the vehicle. Falcon 9 power and telemetry are nominal. That's right, so coming up is max Q, which is the maximum aerodynamic pressure, the largest structural load the vehicle will experience. So slowing it down helps to reduce some of the load it experiences. Falcon 9 is supersonic. And that will help us recover and reuse the first stage. Following max Q, we'll be able to throttle those en engines back up as atmospheric density drops. Max Q. To their higher orbit. Bearing separation confirmed. Stage one landing confirmed. Beautiful touchdown there of the first stage, and that marks the second landing for this booster. We're listening in for the deployment of SWIFO L1. There we go. SWIFO L1 deploy confirmed. Beautiful separation and successful deployment of the SWIFO L1 payload. We're not done yet. We do have one more payload coming up. That's NASA's Carruthers Geocorona Observatory. We already received that acquisition of signal from the IMAP payload. And they're really moving quick away from the Earth. And we're going 27,000 kilometers per hour. So the distance that has been put between IMAP and SWIFO L1 is significant. We are at an altitude of roughly 5,000 kilometers. Correct. And if you recall, we were looking at the altimeter there on the bottom right screen. We kind of de we deploy SWIFO L1 about 3,800 kilometers. And so as we're on that escape trajectory, as I was mentioning earlier, we are seeing our altitude steadily increase as we move to the Carruthers uh, spacecraft also being deployed. Carruthers, separation confirmed. Awesome. There we go. <laughs> that is cool. Carruthers separating beginning its mission to capture the faint ultraviolet glow of Earth's outer atmosphere.